I'm going to show you the steps I take in Premiere Pro to get set up, get organized, and just to overall feel creative. First thing I'm gonna do is create a new project, pick the location. I usually set the location to be within the folder of my footage. So inside here I'll make a new folder and I'll call it Workshop Edit. This way all of my uh, files, previews, everything that's related to Premiere Pro is going to be in a specific folder inside the folder with my footage and all of that stuff will stay together. Then the next thing I do is I go to Scratch Discs and I change my auto saves. So what I do here is I have an auto saves folder in my Creative Cloud and I always save all of my auto saves for my projects here. That way if I ever do lose project files that I've been working on, at least I have backups in the cloud and that's saved me more than once. I'll label the project. I'm gonna call it Workshop 1, Edit 1. And now we're inside. So now that we're gonna be bringing in footage and audio, I'm gonna give myself some room to breathe here. Beforehand, I've already organized all my footage by audio and video. For right now, we're gonna be working on Term 1, Class 1. We'll bring that in. I was using a Sony A7S to shoot this, so when I look at the footage, it comes in under the folder clip. In certain cases, even with other cameras, there's a lot of hierarchy that happens in the folders to get down to where the actual video files are. The first thing I'll do is make a new bin, I'll call it video, and I'll move all of these files into the video folder, and then I'll just get rid of this root folder. That way, I'm not dealing with um, sort of a million subfolders. Everything is organized. It makes things a lot simpler. Same thing with the audio. So now as you can see, all my audio is in one folder, my video is in another folder, and I've put a music track that I've selected to be in the bottom of the bin. You can also make another bin called music if you're gonna have multiple files. So now at a glance, term one, class one, audio, music, video, and everything is very organized. The reason I like to do this is because it may not seem like a big deal right now with just a little bit of files, but once you get into a lot of footage, if you've shot something over 45 minutes or even something 50 minutes long, and you have lots of clips. To have to navigate all the time through all these different folders, to have to try to figure out where everything is, it takes away from the creativity. Anytime you have to step out of the creative mind and into this technical, software-driven mind, you're not feeling the piece anymore. You have to stop feeling, you have to look. It doesn't feel good to look through these bins and try to make sense of all these random files all over the place. That doesn't feel good. What feels good is what you've shot, what's happening on the screen, what's happening in the clips. So the better you organize in your bin, the more you can stay focused to connect it to the feeling of your piece. The next thing I'm gonna do is label my video clips and label my audio clips. It's handy if you can have the slate be the first frame of all your video files because then no matter what I click on, I'm always gonna see at a glance what it is. So I click here. We know that this is boom only, take one. So boom, one. Now at a glance, I can see what these video files are. I don't have to guess. Now we do the same thing with the audio. And with the audio, I know for sure, there. I can see where the slate is, it's right here. So I know that they're gonna call out the shots right before the slate. So I don't have to listen to everything. I know that it's gonna be directly before the slate. Boom only. Boom only. There we go. Took no time at all. Now at a glance, I can see all my audio files labeled, all my video files labeled. I have everything organized. I'm gonna bring this down so we can work on our timeline a little bit easier. Check out the next video where I show you four easy ways to sync audio.